alongside me here today. Austin, welcome back. Thank you. Been what? This is my third week now? Week three, yeah. Yeah. Okay, uh, I, watched, I ended up watching back the VODs a little bit, actually, mm -hmm. uh, during... During some free time this week, and uh, the difference is the difference between week one and week two for me. Uh, week two is much much better, <laughs> so hopefully that keeps going on that trend. Yeah, hey, I always I always say the more you just hop into the driver's seat and just do it, the better things get. And sure enough, all has been going well, especially as of late. Yeah. Now, Oasis standard start here for map number one and a yeah. standard pick set from the first game. And we yeah. got ourselves a Hammond. Just Hammond Winston, they're playing dive. This could be uh this could There be was no new patches that I'm not aware no, of. No, there was there? nothing. <laughs> this is Overwatch. There's no new patches. You hear about a patch six weeks before it happens. Fair enough. I mean, and it looks uh, like this is going all in Sinclair's favor yeah. to start things off. First Bronco Esports. Down. Just take care of the Lucio. There it goes. So I understand why they wanted to go dive there is a lot of high grounds to take advantage of here mm -hmm. but um if anything over the last you know what four months has proved anything the comp that saints is running is just just superior yeah it seems to be the bread and butter the meta yeah. as it's always said so yeah. fair enough i pr or i give them props for get trying out some new things but yeah. especially when uh jub jub and the rest of the st Clair squad are finding their picks early it's yeah. Kind of hard to make the dive work. You just I don't. I don't see Bronco staying on this very long. And if they do, this is uh, this is a, this is good for Saints here. The Saints here. A well, point blank with the Hammonds, yeah. but or and Squanchy coming out of nowhere. Just caught out of position there, going for a flank. This is where dive starts to look good, though, is when you can get those picks on the team that really relies on that teamwork between the composition, mm -hmm. and uh, that, then they can just use their mobility to really out position the team that's already down people. Yeah, so this one looking much better for uh, for the Broncos. We got the Bongo coming down, but they got the sound barrier to kind of yeah. counter it out, and that's going to be the flip for Bronco Esports. Yeah, Bron Bronco just got way more value out of their ultimates there. Um, St. Clair, that Bongo, really, and like we had already down two when we decided to use the Bongo. Nice early pick oh. coming up from Walla. <laughs> Blake he tried to swing out of there, but unfortunately so, uh, did not get that. <laughs> Walla goes on the flank and dies to the Hammond, and then, you know, <laughs> <laughs> next fight back, the opposite happens. So maybe St. Clair can take the point back here, too. Mm -hmm. All right, so moving on the point to try and get this thing contested. Jump Jump got booped, actually, by Trippin. I don't know where the heck yeah. that happened at. But a big crucial DPS member kind of gone pretty quickly. And it's going to force St. Clair to play a little bit more back as the yeah. Coalescence comes out on the side St. of Bronco Esports. Yeah. St. Clair almost looks scared here. Like they don't, they don't look confident in what they're trying to do at all. Now, one thing that's like I'm just kind of noticing now. I think I heard them uh, say this before the game started. But do we have a bit of a modified roster here today? Yeah, it is a little bit different. Um, unfortunately, Devin had something, or uh, Dmage had something going mm -hmm. on that he couldn't be here today. So okay. uh, we have Couch playing for him. Right on, welcome back, Couch. Yeah. And instead of the Sigma that we've seen him a lot on, oh, hang on a second, Lethal just dives in, gets himself double. Yeah. And it's one way to try and uh, make a fight turn instantly before we even really get started. So, um, one good thing, that, one thing that's really good against Dive, actually, that I'm surprised Saints haven't swapped to yet, is just, just playing Reaper. Oh, and oh there, there it is. is. As I say it. Yeah, perfect. Now, one thing I was going to mention, so we have Couch back, and on their Risa, when most of the time, if I recall correctly, he was playing a lot of Sigma. Yeah, he had, he was their Sigma player at one point, but um, since Crypt has been doing so well on Sigma and shown like immense improvement, um, Crypt is, is our, we're trying him out as a new, like our main Sigma player for the time right. being. And um, yeah, so we have Couch playing Arisa just to fill in for Devin. Mm -hmm. Now, unfortunately here for St. Clair, time has ticked down for this first round. Yeah. The uh, the hold at like the aggressive hold there from uh, Bronco Esports is just too much to try and plow through for this first one. Yeah, they always they what Bronco was doing properly there is uh, they they were using that high ground like I was talking about to just uh, just constantly like jump on the Saints, use their move, moving abilities to get away rather than trying to go for that straight up face to face brawl because they know that they're not going to win those battles. They're just not. Um, hopefully, 
Saints can figure out a way to deal with this dive comp because uh, that did not look very pretty. Yeah, that was, I mean, even if it's technically supposed to be like countered out by the meta, sometimes yeah. it can still catch you off guard. So let's hope that going in the round number two here, uh, St. Clair Saints can pull this one back around. Yeah. Of course, worst case scenario, these are best of three matches, but yeah. don't have to rely on that if you don't have to. I um, I think if Saints can stay grouped together here as six, they have a, a pretty good chance of countering this dive out. That monkey got extremely like overextended, and luckily enough, Jub Jub's going to be there to finish it off. Saints are looking like they're going to try and get onto that point. Hammond going to make things a little bit difficult, but... Basically, like 5v5 onto the point temporarily. Crypt find himself a kill onto Black yeah. Duke. And that's a bit of an out of position to Moira. Jump jump gonna find that. Kim Hart getting himself onto the kill board. And this fight is going all for St. Clair right now. Yeah. There's the first take for them. That was good. And that right there, that's just a key example of what I just literally just said. They all kind of stayed together. They were shooting at the same things. And, and, and that's what makes this comp just better than the dive meta. Because if, as long as you're sitting there and focusing things, Dive doesn't have anything but mobility to really stay alive. Like, Winston's bubble is only 600 health. Yeah, it's not that big. It, it dies pretty quickly, especially if all six people are shooting at it. That's a crazy little knock up there from Blake, dude, but nobody else is really there to follow up. Squanchy actually going to get taken down by Walla. I assume a monkey jumping right into a Reaper's face is an extremely bad choice. Yeah. And that's basically going to be another one team fight here for St. Clair if they can try and pick up a little bit more, but not quite. Walla going to give a little bit of chase, but... Hopefully they don't extend too quickly here. Otherwise, I'm going to have to play that soundboard again. Yeah. If, uh, the may <laughs> just used walls, so they knew they were safe to kind of like go up without the risk of being walled up. Mm -hmm. So it allows you for a little bit more aggression. But normally when you see that may, any choke point, you try and avoid like the plague. Okay, okay here's the mind drop from Blake to right away. Sound barrier going to try and keep everybody alive. We've got the... I think that was a Sigma trying to use the flux, yeah. but I don't think it actually came out. No. They went for the Sigma alt into the Doomfist alt. Yeah, and, and uh, something from the Sigma side just did not come out. Yeah. Hey, Primal Rage on that monkey. Going to take down Kingdom Heart. First casualty of the fight, looks like. And very, very scattered fight at this moment. The Winston just doing so much displacement. And that's yeah. going to be St. Clair getting wiped off the point, it looks like. Just a matter of finishing off Justy. And this is going to get flipped at around 77%. But that right there, that's where Dive really, like, I, I can't iterate it enough. There's not really much else to talk about in these fights. Really, the deciding factor is uh, whether the Dive comp can get in there and really split up the Saints team here. Uh, mm -hmm. And anytime that happens, it's Broncos are looking really good. Oh, that was almost kind of clever from Trippin, but if anything, he actually just gave his own life. So one big support member gone for the time being. We will see the Death Blossom come out, but... Does not find himself a mark until the very end. Squanchy finally going down. But Kingdom Heart also going down as well. They're trying to answer with their own Death Blossom, but I don't think it worked. This fight is still going in Saints Gaming's favor, their favor here, and they can get a, they get the kill onto the Reaper. They have to take them down. Just a matter of taking care of this Lucio. Finally does go down. Moira jumping in while uh, Colossus is active, and while well, uh, going to finish that off. Hammond is just being an absolute nuisance as usual, stalling just a little bit longer, about 45% when this gets flipped. And it's a little bit dangerous time now for uh, for Bronco Esports as this is getting very close to being a full capture. Absolutely. St. Clair here looking a lot better on the second point. But uh, I also think it has a lot to do with there's less high ground for the dive comp to really take advantage of. It allows mm. St. Allows Clair to really just take these head-on fights that they want to have. Yeah. They and do a good job of it. They dive in right away. I do hear the meteor strike coming out from somewhere. Blake 2 finding Jussie. Walla going down as well. And so far, so far, so good for the Bronco Esports. Jump Jump going to find one of the Squanchy. And Kingdom Heart is still there, just barely. Jump Jump does go down. And it looks like this is going to be another flip. No other St. Clair members in sight. So just yeah. going on to 50% now. St. Clair still has a little bit of time. Try and get this one back. They have two alts coming online, I think, right? That's what you saw? I saw the three alts. Yeah. There'll be three, probably four. Moira's alt. 30% 30, 30 from full is basically full when you're playing Moira, so. Yeah, it's like an orb and a half. Yeah. Okay, Hammond just unfortunately just. Some of the team was focused on them, but going to get a line or get away with his life. It's going to drop the minefield right in the center of them, but we got Death Blossom coming out from Walla. Does find the, the Doomfist, and Doomfist is still chasing in onto the support line. Somehow still staying alive. That was the sound barrier coming out from the side of Bronco Esports. This fight isn't as actually going necessarily in the, in the way of St. Clair until Couch finally finds a kill onto Lethal. 
definitely a critical one. The monkey on the high ground just being a nuisance, almost going down. Like do barely staying alive here. Walla trying to burst this tank, and he finally will get the kill. Still was, contested, and we're about to have 99-99. Yeah, I was I was gonna say Saint Clair is just not following up on these low targets and confirming their kills, and uh, it's really just allowing Bronco Esports to just kind of make these fights last longer and really abuse their movement. But now, uh, it starts, as I was oh, about to say that, Walla just starts <laughs> W keying into them, and uh, the fight started to change direction. Yeah, make them eat a boulder from uh, Crypt there, and then they're able to follow up. But actually, this is starting to take quite a long time. Wall at least cut off the reinforcements with that Death Blossom, so it's just a matter of dealing with this Hammond. He's going to jump in, but just a moment too late. So we're going into round three for game number one. It's a good, it's a good close one. Um, at that point in time, honestly, like it was just, it was just a matter of time of stalling. Unless the, unless somehow the Bronco esports players were able to stay alive for such a long time to get at least four people back on point realistically that should just be a stall until saints eventually clear it out and win so going into the university map uh i am a huge advocate for playing may okay absolutely huge advocate for may on this uh on this point just because there's like to, in order to get onto the point it's all chokes so anytime oh, a team goes to walk onto the point you can just wall them off kill the person that comes like across your wall and then from there you already have an, an instant pick to start off the fight mm -hmm. but uh, interesting here it's good against other uh double shield comps but when you're playing these dive like these dive comps like this you can just jump over the shield that's true or jump over the wall sorry mm -hmm. okay speaking of which we're diving on they actually took kingdom heart down right away and there's a lot of red health bars here on the side of saint Clair. Very good fight here for Bronco Esports as yeah. they continue to push St. Clair back to their spawn. Grip's gonna find one though, actually. Lethal going down, but sure enough, yeah, they are gonna get the first capture in this case. Yeah. I mean, uh, that right there just shows why Lucio is not a tank. He cannot stand in that front line without dying. Yeah, okay, one move, <laughs> or one bad move, and I guess you're squashed. Eh? Yeah. Especially against Dive. Dive really takes advantage of uh, anybody being out of position because they can just get to them immediately. Yeah, Coalescence coming up from Jesse to start things off. St. Clair trying to get themselves the pick and Squanchy going down from Crypt is going to be the pick they need. But can they, they do end up taking down the tank line. Can they actually contest this point though? They've been kind of passive so far, not really moving forward. Now they seem to be on on the move and Cookie Monster are gonna find Couch, but it looks like this one's still gonna be cleaned up. Walla doing enough damage alongside the rest of the St. Clair team to probably flip this as soon as they deal with this Lucio and Hammond to make that. Well, there's three people on the point here. I wouldn't be surprised if we saw a Death Blossom come out from Molo. And it's actually starting to get a little bit scrappy, but yeah. it's also starting to be a little bit trickly here if you're Bronco Esports. I would just kind of stop. And he's actually going to Primal Rage to delay this even further. He's going to get a bunch of percent for it, but I guess... They're really trying to make off. this a one-fight game. And they're doing a very good job of it. Yeah, they got this to 63, going on 65 now. Like, they definitely got themselves quite a bit, but they're completely losing the. Yeah. Uh, the the one disadvantage that they have for that choice of uh, of, of strategy is uh, look at the Saints gaming oh, ult right now. Okay, then. <laughs> that right there is why you don't do what Bronco Esports just did. And then they blew Primal, trying to uh, stall even more. Yeah. So unless they were planning on switching off Winston, that. That's a little rough, and sure enough, Winston's still here, yeah. so that's kind of rough. If Saints Gaming can properly like manage their alt economy, uh, there's basically no way they they should lose this point. Yeah, based was... off of what Broncos just did, because what Broncos are hoping right now is that Saints use all of their ultimates. They can bank theirs up, come in for that one last fight, uh, and try and take it from there. Mm -hmm. Now that was actually pretty solid. Only two alts used there yes. for St. Clair, which I think is about what you would probably want to in that case. Right? Yeah, because combo cause two and that's it. If I were to be to say I was a shot caller and Saints gaming there, right? I would be like, they just used a bunch of alts to try and stall. We don't need to use a lot here in order to gain value enough value in this fight to get an advantage. And I would I would go for maybe an alt combo or even just like a May alt, something you know, a one-off ultimate that you could do whatever you want. Okay, sound barrier coming out just in time while wow, that minefield huh. comes down we have the meteor strike coming down from bronco esports as well crypt getting extremely low he's gonna yeah. get popped and actually this is an extremely good fight here for bronco esports yeah as they clear this point quickly gonna make this a fast flip too, putting the pressure on that's uh, that right there 
You don't, you don't like to see that because we had to use beat there. Um, but realistically, with three more alts going on to the point, uh, if we can win one fight with using one or two alts, then it's looking pretty good for the Saints here still. I mean, given the situation, the fact that it was only sound barrier yeah, might be not too bad. We have the flux coming up. It does get the monkey, but it's going to barely get out of this alive. The, the sound barrier by Death Blossom going to finally finish off Squanchy, but nobody else really going down at the time. Crypt's going to bring this guy down, but Walla going to finish him off. Oh. Just straight up chasing the Doomfist into the low ground. How about that? He just got back onto the point. Yeah, thanks for that uppercut. Thanks for bringing me back to my team after Thank I killed you. you. Doomfist. <laughs> but 99% right now yeah. for Bronco Esports. St. Clair is going to flip this back over, but... So One right now, lost fight could yeah. be trouble. this alt, the alt economy right now, honestly, I think has flipped over into the Bronco Esports mm -hmm. favor here. Um, and that could prove problematic coming into this last fight of a uh, university. Yeah, that last one was a little bit messy, and Hammond coming in with the minefield right away, and it blows up oh. everybody. That was critical right there for Bronco Esports. And St. Clair is going to go down more than likely end this fight. The flip is going to occur, and nobody else is going to be able to reinforce. That is way too many dead that people is, right now. So. That is a devastating Hammond ult right there. You don't see that happen too often, but no. holy smokes, was it effective there. But, you know what? The strategy that Bro or, uh, Bro yeah, the Bronco Esports team here you know, kind of went for where I said they just blew those alts to really just kind of grind out that percentage. It ends up working in their favor here. Oh, because yeah. say they didn't do that, they would have had 30% less percentage and uh, this could have been a completely different point. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there, as we had just seen, that was the final moments there of the last game anyway. So a little bit, a little bit rough here for St. Clair after a, what looked like a, a relatively one fight. Yeah. Got turned into a, <laughs> one bad Womble combo gone yeah. wrong. Hey, uh, yeah, ultimately, like, uh, it's just, I feel like their ultimates weren't on the same page. I feel like um, a lot of the times when they were using their ults, they were just kind of off on their own, doing their own mm -hmm. thing. I mean, um, that one fight in the middle, like they they'd used the two ultimates the first time, that which was fine. Good. But then they somehow blew four, yeah. and then only Moira had her so, hers left. So the big the big the big issue was not obviously not the fight they won, right. and it, honestly, I think even using that beat and that fight afterwards, I think was fine. Mm -hmm. Um. I, I personally would advocate against it, but I mean, mm -hmm. realistically, it's not the end of the world that he used it. They did, like, you know, kind of go super aggressive, and we had a lot of low people, and we could have potentially turned that fight around with some good heals after the beat. Mm -hmm. uh, the fight afterwards was the problem. Yeah, that's where it yeah. got messy out of they, nowhere. It got messy. They blew three ultimates trying to regain control of that point back, and they didn't really use them together very well. And Bronco really just used their uh, used that to their advantage and just, you know, Brought it to him. And so, solid job there for Bronco Esports for turning that one around. Very close. Uh, very for, or for the first game, that was a very close one. And definitely looking forward to this next one coming up. It looks like King's Row is the pick. But it also looks like one of the players on the side of Bronco Esports either disconnected or left. So, mm -hmm. going to throw it to a quick break as we await for him to come back. And we'll get to see some more Saints on King's Row. So stick around. We'll be right back.
Alrighty, and we're back here as the Cookie Monster has returned to the game, so this one should be starting up pretty quickly. And as I say, it looks like we're getting into it, but while we're getting through the loading screen here, um, with King's Row coming up again, with Bronco Esports, does Dive come into play here on this map by chance? Like, if so, how would you either go against it or run it yourself? Dive on King's Row. So even back in dive meta days, back like, you know, season four, season five, mm -hmm. um, a lot of teams did not like playing King's Row. A lot of teams uh, generally moved away from that Winston Diva just because on King's Row, there's a lot of tight corners, not a lot of high ground. It really benefits those teams that like to be in your face. Right. Right. And like I had said last, last game or uh, like last map, um, that's no exactly what Dive doesn't want to do. So most of the time, it's uh, Dive is not really great on King's Row, so maybe that could work in Saints' favor because these Bronco Esports, their Dive, it looks like that's all they play. Mm -hmm. They I mean, definitely have got some practice on it. And also, like, from someone who may have been just kind of learning the game as, like, Dive was just kind of, uh, like, trickling out. Yeah. How do you dive on defense? Because unlike the last one where we had a uh, a control point, like King of the Hill style map, yeah. this one you're strictly trying to hold the point. How do you hold a point but dive? If, so, if so, that comes yeah. Out? So the benefit the benefit of playing dive is that since you have so much mobility, you can kind of choose where you want to fight, right? Mm -hmm. So like when you're on defense, you can you you can kind of the enemy team has to come to the point. So when they go to the point, you can kind of choose when you want to engage on them, if you want to engage on them on point or in a choke or whatever you want to do that. But it looks like Saints Gaming here is just going for their bread and butter, bashing up on the high ground, mm -hmm. yeah, so raining down fire. Rather than the Reaper this time, we have uh, Hanzo. And actually, they're going to try and meet them up here. And if they tried to go up these stairs, that would have been putting them through the meat grinder. Jump, jump, jump down pretty quick. Cool. Like early, actually, but Kingdom Heart, luckily, is right there to keep him alive. There's invulnerability field coming in right at the right moment. Alongside the, the Bastion Alt. three kills. This is exactly what's made clear. This, this, this strategy has really worked for them. It really has gotten them a ton of mileage. Yeah. And it's going to be a very quick capture of this yeah. first point here for them. Anything under a minute for that first point capture on King's Row, you're doing uh, That's a pretty good start to your time bank. Hmm, especially since once you get down to that third point, like things really start to get a little difficult. Yeah. Having five minutes already is just nutty. Of course, Jeb Jeb just... Uh, One thing I want to point out there, though, actually, yeah. the Baptiste player here for Saints Gaming, Jussie, mm -hmm. that was an incredibly fast window from him. He had that, he had that ultimate up in like oh, 35 seconds. That is true. It felt like the fight hasn't even started, and meanwhile, like he's already got his ult up ready for the Bastion. So yeah, I I, I, cool. I just I realized that way too late to be completely honest. But oh my goodness, that was incre incredibly fast. And he's got another one here actually. If he does feel like dropping it down, especially since the tank form is coming up here for Jub Jub, he's going to try and find a way around this wall and start blowing things up. But it was to no avail. Yeah. Lethal shuts him down real quick. Kingdom Heart with the bird's eye view here on this fight, but he's just trying to get everybody out alive. And sure enough, St. Clair on the retreat. I mean, hey, we lost one person. Only gave him a little bit of all charge off that one kill. Oh, lethal, hello. Yeah. Got to be careful of that high ground. This is getting a little bit scrappy now for St. Clair. Like, yeah. um, the Broncos aren't necessarily, like, charging after the spawn, but they've got enough of an angle that they can at least pressure. Jub Jub going to move over to Hanzo himself try and challenge us get off the bastion interesting see i don't necessarily agree with the uh swap off the bastion but i mean oh my god hello cookie monster yeah lost fight yeah so a bit of a yeah this looks like a disconnect yeah now. absolutely i hate to see it but it does happen every once in a while. Lethal going to find a pick onto Walla as well. We're kind of staggering ourselves a little bit here. But nice shots for Lethal to uh, just doing work up there on that high ground. Jub Jub going to try and challenge him, possibly. But nobody home. We have about three ults, maybe four by the time this fight really gets going. If that Blizzard from for the May gets going. And here comes the Bongo from 
couch as they decide to charge on in, but I do hear Bastion coming out. I think that's from the side of Bronco Esports. Jesse gets stunned up, but he's going to get himself out of there. And Crypt gets caught. I think that was by an, an enemy team. Uh, Flux, Cookie Monster gets a kill into couch, but meanwhile, I see a lot of blue names here, and that was a sick shot, actually. They're prepared. Yeah. A nice shot. And Sinclair's going to be able to uh, scrappily pull this one together and get themselves the, the win and push this thing at least close to that second point. They, they got so much value out of their ultimates that they had used there. That, that Like the May just getting them like on their retreat. Hmm. Being it was three of those kills. It yeah. makes, a, makes a difference. So now the problem becomes this fight is going to be very difficult. We do have Wallace switching over from the May to Reaper now after popping his ult. So I guess that was probably why he used it. Kingdom Hearts oh. getting picked up by Squanchy pretty quick. And Retreat is in process now for St. Clair with 2 minutes and 20 seconds on the board. I mean, St. Clair's doing a very good job of realizing when they get early picked like that that it's it's really just a lost fight. And they're, they've been very good at just... Okay, there we go. Jub Jub finding two. He gets Justin coming out with the Coalescence. The Rapid Fire Arrows, Coalescence going through alongside the Dragon Strike. There's not very much room for you to try and get around some of this. Yeah. And Jesse and the rest of the St. Clair squad are going to be able to clean this up, and this is going to be point two. For this is Saint what Clair. I like to see coming out from St. Clair here. They're doing a very good job of using their ultimates together to get extreme value out of all of them. Like, for example, that Coalescence there, uh, they threw out the Coalescence and then threw out the Hanzo ult, forcing Broncos from to not be able to retreat, which just allows that Coalescence to just rain damage in on their team because they're going to all try and run away, and then they got bunched up there next to the Dragon. Yeah, no matter where you move, you're going to get blasted by something. So yeah. it was nicely done. But what wasn't exactly so nice in the meantime is this massive scatter, or yeah. not scatter, stagger, rather, Coming out for St. Clair since they tried to get a little bit overly aggressive on that high ground. And they lost two because of it. But it looks like, almost looks like Bronco can make the same mistake the other it direction. Certainly seems that way. They did lose one already. While is in position and trying to snipe, but that shield's going to make it a little bit difficult right now. Dragon Strike going through everybody. Crypt finding himself a kill onto Blank or Blakedew. But can they find anything else? That was actually a nice shot there from Squanchy. Shutting that down. Takes down Couch as well. And this is going to be a one fight for Bronco Esports. Nice. I mean, at this point in time, the alt economy, I think, is pretty pretty equal on both sides. Saints have a couple alts, four alts. I'm sure I'm sure you're going to see a duel, like battling Sigma alts here. Uh, and I think that ultimate right there the difference in value between the two of them is going to be a big difference maker in this fight. Okay, here's the Dragon Strike going to go through essentially everybody. Wallace is going to find Cookie Monster before he can even get any damage down in this fight. Crypt takes down Trippin as well. And St. Clair moving forward to try and get this cart going. Trying to get her started around this S. This S that's just always been the bane for so many teams. Now we trade Blake to for... Kingdom Heart, but Squanchy and Air is finally going down. One more. There's Trippin again going down. St. Clair pulling this one back around. Jub Jub looking good on the Hanzo here today. Mm -hmm. That's uh, that's nice to see. And Jub Jub's Hanzo looking good. I also got to give props to Wall as well. That was almost oh! bursting the tank. Holy smokes. That was pretty close. Yeah. I, I literally think that he might have been 1 HP. And here's that dueling Sigma ult I was talking about. Okay. He does manage to find two. Jesse and Crypt's going up, but unfortunately, Crypt was not able to get the healing he needed. Walla, I think, gets uh, smoked by a rock as he was ready to use Deadeye, so that did get kind of shut down. Then Walla gets thrown into the Dragon Strike, but does get out alive. Bit of a scrappy one. We've both lost one at this point, but Walla does find the kill onto Ares. Lethal, extremely low. Squatchy going down. Lethal going down. Walla finding himself the double. Jub Jub, though, does get taken down by Cookie Monster. He has made the flank necessary, and he's there to contest. A good stun, and this might move it forward. Never mind. There is Trip, and he is back. He, and before Ares can make it there, St. Clair do get the three cap. Smack 30 the seconds rock. left. Uh, the DPS there really just being star, like really just showing their skill off uh, on, on that third point there. I think without, uh, without some of the plays coming out from that DPS, that would have been a big struggle to get that, that point captured. Yeah, the pressure they were putting on and being able to secure those kills was absolutely clutch yeah. near the, the end of that fight. Like but, after that uh, signal, going into that fight, they, they were down, what, two people? I think I saw. It was two early picks after the signal, and then Wallow came back yeah, and killed Crypt four. Yeah, because Crypt went down. He wasn't able to get any healing, unfortunately. Yeah. So he went down pretty quick, but then we turned around with two, and then it just kind of snowballed from there. We may have lost one additional during the fight, but yeah. 
Uh, six, four, two, I, I'll take that. Yeah, absolutely. Especially when it's time to push that cart right to the... I, the honestly, band. I was kind of hoping that. for a little bit of uh, a stall, and maybe we got to see another uh, another gra what, gravitational no flux pulling them off the cart for the cap. Oh. <laughs> another one of those. Back-to-back <laughs> -back weeks. If only there was a May there to freeze us so we can make the alt last longer. Yeah. Right? <laughs> cough, cough, cough. <laughs> I mean, while we're on the topic, I would like to at least, you know, shout out Dan's lovely newscast that goes on every week about all of our Saints gaming content. Why, Bird's you. eye view on YouTube. Thank you. I always watch it every week. I think what he's doing is fantastic. Much appreciated. Even if the facts sometimes are... Uh, <laughs> it, it, it's 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 okay, and I know we'll get there. We'll get there. We'll get there. Groundwork's there. Now just the polishing, and I can't wait to see what it looks like in a couple years. And then I'm happy to see Jesse on the more or the Moria or whatever they, they call it on the show. More Ira, more Ira, yeah, Mariah or whatever. Mariah. I have no I idea. It. I love it. But either way, we have Saints on defense now. We have Jub Jub on uh, Sombra, and this is the first time we've seen this in a solid while. I feel, but yeah. I could be wrong. It's a it's an interesting choice. Um, he really just needs to get that that EMP farmed up to get a lot of value out of him. But if you can get an EMP off, like every other fight, oh no! And see well, here here's just here's the problem with that Sombra is <laughs> Doomfist Reaper. Well, it's just I, better. So Saint Clair got themselves the point in under a minute. But um, so did Bronco. Bronco Esports just says, uh, hold my drink and takes another one in under a minute. Yeah. Is this Lucio headhunting right now? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's go. As a Lucio player myself, it's one of my favorite <laughs> things to do. Oh, you're 20 health and trying to run away and get back to your team? Yeah, no. Nope. Speed boost. <laughs> <laughs> Speed boost. Okay, so while I'm making the quick switch from the McCree over to Reaper, yeah. and Jub Jub does get picked before anything really even gets started. Trippin actually finding the kill on him. Maybe the headhunt was finally successful. Trippin' on this Lucio looks really good. I, yeah. I really like what I see from his Lucio here. He's either doing something godly or he's getting picked first, but <laughs> at least in this case, his Crypt's getting picked first, and he's actually got himself the kill in the game of the heart, too. So this is actually looking pretty deadly right now for St. Clair as uh, Bronco Esports just pushed all the way to, like, the final point in aggression and left one guy at home to at least get this cart going. I mean, right now they're they're approaching bookstore, is is where the boat, where the card is. So Saints is probably gonna get uh, to get a contestant right before, right before the uh, the point there on that corner, and uh, they do have that EMP here to come in and really just remove those shields from the equation. Mm -hmm. So Saints gaming, very good opportunity for a one fight here. But uh, our tanks gotta be careful about taking too much poke damage here before the fight starts. There's the MP that we were looking yeah. for, and Squanchy's gonna be the first victim. It looks like does go down to Crypt. Cookie Monster also out of position, but luckily is gonna just barely get out of there with his life. Hacks for days coming out, just yeah. stopping any of the shields from coming out. And Bronco Esports is gonna be forced to retreat. It looks like they're trying to actually fight back with the Coalescence, and it's gonna be successful. Yeah. They get the first kill, and then Lethal and Cookie Monster find themselves too extremely quick. And this is gonna be a push cart now. The Saints, the Saints just didn't take full advantage of those that hack being uh, on the entire enemy team and it just allowed them to back off, heal up, come back in once the hacks were run out, and use their ultimates and really punish Saints for going overly aggressive. All right, so this is a little bit rough. Now we have five minutes on the clock here for Bronco Esports to push this thing all the way to the end. With that much time banked up, it's almost hard to imagine them not getting it, but at least how much can St. Clair stall this? At least get as much time off the bank they can. Oh, hello, Reaper. <laughs> point blank and he's forced to wreath walk right away some barrier coming out thinking that the reaper i think was going to pop a death blossom but we're going to answer one of our own going to drop right in and eat a rock for your troubles but jub jub is going to find trippin but we did lose one in the process coalescence coming out this time it's cookie monster firing off but he's not going to get anything the coalescence from jesse was actually clutch at keeping everybody alive yeah. jub jub going to finish off cookie monster now we're just going to skirmish here on this card i think the broncos are going to be forced to retreat Jub Jub getting himself another, possibly another onto uh, the Arisa, but slowly but surely, clunking around, Arisa is going to try and round that corner. So many of these Bronco esports players, sorry to cut you off there, no, but fine, so, many, so many of these Bronco esports players, they're getting away with 20, 30, 50 HP, and Saints just can't do anything about it. 
Hey, just you wait. Eventually, a new hero will come out that has a built-in executed oh. twenty percent, like every other MOBA out there. Exactly. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Oh, I can't wait for that. I die from one. What do you mean? That's already I... that's already in the game. It's called Doomfist. Oh, fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> but a little bit of a messy one. The bongo coming down here from Couch as he and the rest of the squad is going to start blasting this. And oh, we got the Moira alt on top of this. That is going to be actually Jesse taking care of their bongo. But Zambari coming up, keeping everybody alive on the side of Bronco Esports. Jub Jub, the first casualty in this fight. Wall a point blank with everybody just trying to get this. But again, low health bars, no actual executes. Nobody's secured. Meteor Strike going to get the Doomfist out of there. Never mind, he's going aggressive with it. Dives in, takes down Couch. Walla goes down as well after eating a boulder. And this is looking really rough right now for St. Clair as Bronco Esports are looking to wheel this thing in at the round three minute mark. There it is again. The, the Sigma had what 10 hp his health bar looked basically empty and he gets out of that team fight alive a little bit of a case of scattered defense unfortunately yeah. or scattered uh, dps rather yeah i uh i just sometimes when you know games aren't going your way and you see those low health bars uh what do you have to lose just just go <laughs> Just run at him and kill him. He has 20 HP. What can he do against six people? I mean, especially in this meta, like, I could understand the... Like, you see the shield get thrown out, and then you're just kind of like, oh, okay, he's safe. Yeah. I mean, Sigma, when he when he removes his shield, he has a whole second before you can put a new one out. Mm -hmm. And if Arissa had just placed your shield, if you walk past that shield, she might as well not even use the cooldown. Like, it's... Uh, you, there is room for you to go aggressive. You just have to be really aware of that Doomfist and the Reaper and where they are and not allow them to just get in on your tanks and, you know, remove them from the game because that's what they're good at. Okay, so now we'll probably see some teleport shenanigans again here for St. Clair, but I yeah. didn't see a Bastion actually pick at this point. Soldier. We've not seen Soldier, like, at all this season. Yeah, um, Soldier, in my personal opinion, is... Um, what the kids call these days a throw pick? Is that, oh. is that what it's called? <laughs> I can understand where you're going for with that. Yeah, it's the Bastion. So yeah, I'm gonna make the switch back over to the Bastion. Soldier, although a solid DPS, or just everybody can do his job better. So it feels bad, man. F in chat for the soldiers. F in chat for the soldier means. <laughs> And F in chat for Cookie Monster, who just got blasted by a headshot from Jussie, which is going to essentially turn this fight into their favor until Jub Jub does go down. But Kingdom Heart going to try and bring him right back into this, but no, lethal right there to shut him down. And I forgot, they only have like a minute to actually contest this, so yeah. Crypt on the point along oh, huge the rock. couch. That was pretty clutch, just smoked a Lucio with a rock, why don't you? Just got to somehow shut down this Doomfist before he gets the chance to do too much damage. But he's got a Moira kind of pocketing him, and the Moira can also just take you out as well. Walla with the emergency trade pick actually coming in clutch taking down Ares real quick lethal extremely low and sure enough all are gonna chase him down is there anybody on that point at this point he's got to somehow touch me he's out of blinks missed it by like a half a meter that is speaking of F's in chat yeah, uh, that's an F in the chat I feel sure. like I'd be bad for uh, Jub Jub throwing up the Z9 <laughs> Don't want to keep using that phrase, but yeah, that was definitely an F. The that's idea was there, but just one blink too many. Yeah, that's heartbreaking. I know that feeling all too well. You know, when you play Lucio, a lot of the times your job is, hey, we have five seconds left. You have to leave Can spawn you just and get the point. Can you speed boost and dive the point, yeah. please? But and then, you know, it's yeah. you feel like you made it, but the game still ends, and it's just, uh, you know, sometimes you just you just can't get there. An absolute heartbreaker there for yeah. St. Clair. They still have the opportunity to defend, but three minutes and 25 seconds yeah. on a point that they Bronco Esports one shot essentially yeah. last time. So they've got their work cut out for them at this point. Maybe Saints figured out uh, what they did wrong and they can you know, fix it up. Oh, they need to adapt and they need to adapt quick. And at least Absolutely. in terms of. I mean, at this point right now in this match, you're, they have to tie this, win the third map, and then go to that tiebreaker, which we've yet to see a tiebreaker ever happen. That is I'd true. be down for that. I mean, we've already had like a three-hour-long uh, Rainbow Six match at later or earlier in the week. Oh, my well goodness. Have, I'm down for three hours of Overwatch. <laughs> so. 
If I had to play three hours of Overwatch for like two oh. games, I would go crazy. Cookie Monster just blew up Walla See, instantly. Yeah. This is looking rather down for St. Clair. Solid job for Bronco Esports, though. Let's see if Jump Jump can at least try to turn this thing back around. But I see a lot of kills here for the red side. They just got to get that first pick, and there's no way you're getting back in time. Nope. Bronco Esports going to secure the 2 0 over St. Clair Saints in this fashion. Even King's Row couldn't save them this time. Nope. But, um,. Honestly, Bronco just looked more, you know, their team play was there. They knew what they were trying to accomplish every fight, and uh, they did a good job of doing it together and really getting done what they needed to get Ooh. done to win the game. That's actually a brutal finish there for Lethal, but nicely done again for Bronco Esports securing that 2-0. Now, oh, now from what I thought I heard from earlier in the day is that we're going to start this next match pretty close to right away. Yeah, I, I think that, that other than like game one, that went pretty quickly. So I'm sure we'll probably have a little bit. Of, oh, no, I'm, I'm hearing actually that they will be ready. I was going to say that that ended pretty fast. Mm -hmm. There might be a chance that, you know, we have some waiting to do. But yeah, so I game one not. was kind of back and forth for them for the most part. But then yeah. something just happened. Well, I mean, I'll give them credit. Game two, it was relatively close at the same time in terms of they both kind of blitz point one pretty fine, like did did well there on attack. Then a little bit skirmishy. Granted, Broncos did extremely well during like the second phase going oh, yeah. into the third. Streets, streets, they just wiped the floor with the Saints. But unfortunately, the, the overtime hold was just not in Saints' favor today, but no. we still have a chance for to get ourselves a W here as uh, we have our next matchup against uh, New York University. And from what a I understand, this should be a relatively even matchup and on paper in terms of like SR, average SR or yeah. whatnot. I can't remember exactly what the SR it was. I think but I heard 3.8 from the coach earlier today. That sounds about right from yeah. what I was told earlier, but it should be an interesting one. I'm going to get ourselves a quick two to five minute break here as we hop into the next lobby and we'll have that match actually for you new york university versus st clair saints coming right up don't go away 